Hello Aries, welcome to your love tarot reading. This one is for you and your person, whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, bungle, date, marriage, and it's a general reading, so just bear that in mind, take what resonates, what doesn't just throw it away. It's a reading for the last week of November, but if you find it at another time and it resonates for you, the message was meant for you Aries. Uh, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or you have, if you have a lot of Aries in your chart, also Aries, if you vibe with my channel, you enjoy my videos, you know what to do, like the video, subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out so much, I cannot tell you just how much it helps me as a small creator, small new creator on YouTube, Aries, um, and also bear in mind, Aries, that I still have a half price promo for anyone who has Scorpio in their chart. This is still valid until the last day of November uh, to honor Scorpio season because I'm Scorpio. Um, so if you think uh, you might have some Scorpio in your chart, you can easily check it uh, on an Astro app and then everything is half price. It's, uh, yeah, all the uh, information is in the description box below, Aries. Uh, so let's get into your reading now. Hmm. I'm getting some vibes, but we'll see. We'll see what that is all about. Let's see. Please show me angels what's happening with Aries and their person at the moment. And what happened in the recent past to make the situation so. Okay. Hmm. Aries, this could be quite a specific read. This may turn out to be quite a specific reading, but let me just clarify a few things before I start talking. Hmm. Your person misses you if you're uh, currently not not on speaking terms, which I don't think you are. Ace of Wands. We can kind of infer. Knight of Cups, though. You know, this person is thinking of making you an offer. If you haven't heard from this person for a while, they're, like, kind of gaining gaining the strength, gathering themselves to make you this offer. They'd like to, to make you an offer. They would like to approach you. They want to make you an offer of love. I think... I feel... I feel for some of you, no, let me get a different deck, sorry. I feel like for some of you, you were actually married to this person or it was like a very established relationship. And, or someone had to make a choice about committing to this relationship and there may have been, unfortunately, other people involved or someone had an affair or someone was seeing other people behind your back. Or talking to other people if it was like a new connection from Bumble or something, you know. Yeah, I feel like some of you were, were ready to celebrate. Um, again, take care as it resonates. But I, uh, I feel like some of you were ready to celebrate uh, a commitment here because it just felt so right. Maybe even a new connection seemed like it was like, oh my god, like we're going to get married kind of thing. Um, but then it turned out that this person had other options. Hmm. Let's see. Let's clarify. Please show me angels what the lovers is about. Yeah. Two of pentacles. Two options. Yeah. This person was juggling. Uh, if it was a committed situation for you, Aries, this person straight up was seeing another person. If it's less committed, this person was just like kind of being, um, yeah, deceitful about it. Five of swords at the bottom of the deck. Deceit. A parig victory. You know, someone uh, just thinking of themselves being super selfish. We have the star here as well. I feel like this person... Let's clarify this too. I feel like your person was kind of doing things at night. Maybe going out. Uh, maybe they like to party or they like to just like go out to like nice places. They like nice food, nice drink. They could have been whining and dining other people. They could have been whining and dining other people and they could have been kind of doing the candlelit supper kind of situation with other people. You know, and it was something you couldn't prevent. I feel like it was written in the stars that you're, pre like, I know this sounds, like, corny and, like, oh, really? 
Yeah, I see an ending here with the uh, Ten of Swords uh, at the bottom of the deck. Oh, and abandonment, Five of Pentacles here. Someone abandoned this love, this connection, this relationship. But I feel like it was almost like this person, like, nothing is written in the stars. You know what I mean? We all have free will. We, we all, we're, we're all the masters of our fate. There's no such thing as, you know, fate. You can't escape your fate. And so I, I don't personally believe in that. Um, but there is free will and there is people who are just, you know, will keep on making the same mistake over and over again. And maybe then that begins to kind of feel like fate kind of thing. This is a complicated situation here. I feel like it was almost written in the stars. You got the star here. You've got the star and the wheel of fortune for your recent past with this person. Something that felt like, oh my God, like this is meant to be. It felt like soulmates. It felt so right. It felt like it was meant to be. It felt like you were like married. It was marriage material or it was actual marriage for some of you or it was like long term commitment turned out not to be turned out to be you were following a false star. You know what I mean? And it was almost like when I say it was written in the stars that it didn't work out that it happened this way. It was just that because this person it was like the writing was on the wall kind of thing, but you couldn't see that. Like, you know, you couldn't read the stars, you couldn't see the signs, because you thought you were following your North Star, but you were actually following a false star. But the red flags were there. I hope that most of you watching, for most of you watching, was just like a himbo or bimbo from Tinder or anyone in between, and it's just like, you know, you can wash your hands off of it. But I do see someone and, you know, I see this person, this is a dangerous kind of energy because your person, it's one of those people, and I, I'm a Scorpio, and I'm going to tell you straight away, I get so triggered when I even hear, someone said that to me recently, actually it was one of my exes, and I was like, oh my god, let's stop. Um, because he's that, that kind of a person, he was like, oh, well do you not think that it's possible to be in love with two people at the same time, and for the love to be the same? No, <laughs> I'm a Scorpio, I don't, you know, I don't do that kind of thing. Um. But I feel like it's one of those people who are like, but I was in love with both of you at the same time and I love you the same kind of thing. Maybe this person also, um, maybe this person also was hoping that maybe you could have like an open relationship for some of you. But that does not work for you. You're like, no, 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 no. Put out the, you're like, no, 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 like that's not for me. I'd rather be alone I'd rather be alone than do this kind of thing. I don't know if you're communicating, but if the communication is there, I feel like you haven't really talked about what happened here. I don't think this person denied having someone else, but you were, you were very, obviously very upset. You were very upset. You may know the person that they were dealing with. You may know the person. Let's see how you're feeling about the situation. This person misses you. They'd like to have a new beginning with you. I feel like they're going to come at you and they might say something like, I'm willing to give up this per this other person. It's like, I've made a choice now and I choose you, but it's too late. It's too late for you. Seven of Cups. You're con still confused. You have a lot of integrity, Aries. You would rather be alone than with someone like this. We have the Six of Pentacles. You're willing to be charitable to this person because you have a soft spot for them. You truly love them. I mean, obviously, you were ready to make a commitment to them, whether it was marriage or commitment or, you know, whatever it was. Like, you're still will willing to hear this person out. There's something that haven't been spoken between you. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. But as far as, uh, you know, as far as you're concerned, it's over. But you'd still like to get some closure. And you'd like to maybe say what this person has to say in terms of like, you know, I choose you kind of thing. Yeah, Eight of Cups. A lot of endings here. Maybe it's some energy we need to work through here with the reading too. You know, the, the energy of the ending. This person's next action, please, angels. Yeah, we got the uh, knight, uh, knight of Swords again at the bottom of the deck. Like, this is like, yeah, like really, they really want to communicate about the situation. This person's next action is they're going to, uh, they're going to make a move towards you. They're speculating on what they sh should do currently. They're thinking, you know, a lot about what their next move should be. But they're going to make a move towards you. Three of Wands. Uh, they're going to make a move towards you. 
you're coming up as the queen of pentacles here aries um even though you're a fire like that's the energy anyway you know you're very grounded there's a lot of kind of earth energy here around you. you're grounded you're not coming to them you're waiting for them to explain themselves to you uh, and they're going to come in. But I feel like they're not, you know, whatever they're doing, you know, this, the person here uh, in the Three of Wands, they have their back towards you and you have their, your back towards them. I feel like you're not on the same page. You know, this person is going to make a show of trying to, you know, kind of like, Let's make it happen or like let's have a conversation, but it's not going to be a what you want to hear and it's also not going to be satisfactory explanation and then, you know, someone's going to be feeling real foolish here. It is them, but make sure they don't make a fool out of you when they communicate because they're really, they want to come in. I feel like they might even say like, oh, you know, and I don't like the three in here, the three of wands kind of thing. They're going to be like, well, why can't it be the three of us kind of thing, you know? I mean, if you're into that kind of thing, that's totally cool. I'm not here to judge, judge you at all. Um, but you know, I don't, I don't feel like that's what you want. Cause you have the, the single pentacle here with the queen. The queen has one pentacle. She's waiting for that one person. Um, I feel like they, even if they communicate or, uh, or come back into your life this week or, you know, coming into the next week, they're just going to be, I feel like their energy is just like inadequate. It's you're not going to, they're not going to message you adequately. They're not going to respect you adequately. Can you please clarify the full? King of Pentacles, yeah. They're just... They're gonna say they want to have a new beginning with you. But it's like you're not on the same page, really. It's like, yeah, 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 we want the same thing. This king and this queen. It's like, they're really not... Even though they're like divine counterparts, they're kind of looking in different directions. They're doing their own thing. Looking at the Pentacle individually. I feel like you both each have an idea of where this connection should go and it's very different and this person cannot give you what you want because uh, they're only really in it for themselves. They're always, it's like they're always going to put you in a third party situation. That's just who this person is. But they're going to throw themselves at your mercy a little bit. Um, this communication could be a little bit longer coming too for some of you. It could take them a little bit longer. Let's see, can we clarify the three of wands? The hanged man, yeah, it could be, that's what I thought. It could be delayed a little bit. They may not, uh, for for some of you, you're not going to be hearing from this person this week or even the next, maybe. Show me then uh, the second half of December. Yeah, it might be quiet uh, going up to the holiday season. Hmm. Yeah, but by end of December, there will be communication or this person is, you know, just waiting for the right time. They might not want to talk to you now because it might be awkward. They might be maybe waiting for it to be closer to the holidays in December here with the sun uh, for them to kind of go public with their uh, with their message towards you with, with approaching you. Uh, I feel like they feel you're going to be more charitable. You're going to be more charitable. Or it's just too early. The wounds are too fresh. Whatever it is. But, you know, it's. I feel like what they're giving you is not adequate. Who else is coming at Aries? Death. Ooh. Very interesting. You're going to undergo a transformation in the next three months, Aries. Someone could enter your life. Dude, like, I'm not even kidding. Someone's going to enter your life who's going to completely transform your life and, like, help you. You, you, like, it's, like, almost, like, too cool for school. Uh, someone could enter your, your life in the next three months apart from this person who will totally transform, like, your idea of what a relationship is to you. Or, like, it's not going to be your typical person. Maybe someone who deals with, like, the dark side of life you know but it could be like in a positive way you know it could be someone who deals with um some some types of transformations in life uh law enforcement ensuring that certain cycles of life are met it could be a doctor someone who deals with you know pr patients who are terminally terminally ill uh someone who's a soldier 
that kind of thing you know someone who deals with life cycles someone who deals tax collector you know taxes and death but it, or it's someone who's just really cool you know they got that little like you know kind of vibe of like lock up your daughter's sons anyone in between kind of thing it's that kind of bad boy um like they're coming up as death it's not necessarily a bad thing but they will transform you and maybe even transform your expectations of love um tell me more about this person this is the next three months uh as you know on the alternative to this person who disappointed you oh five of swords interesting more Yeah, so this is that person's preferred. Whatever this person's like, whatever this person does in life, it's quite unpleasant. Um, it could be someone who does a lot of fighting, it's kind of fighting law enforcement, very possibly. Uh, but it's also a king of cups, disregard the gender, it's arbitrary. This is someone with deep feelings coming in, in love with you a lot, you know. Uh, but I sense either like, you know, some, some, it's like your person, some new person is coming who's going to be really into you and they're going to be either uh, a bad boy it's like you know you're either the detective or the criminal kind of thing it's either going to be like a bad boy i don't see like necessarily like someone who does like shady things but like just like bad boy energy kind of thing james dean energy or it's going to be someone who deals in you know um enforcing the laws of nature or enforcing the laws of life and death and safety and unsafety um someone who fights a lot with people someone who has like a lot of unpleasant things they have to do in their job but they you know they're going to be so in love with you and they're going to offer you like a very beautiful love uh they might flip your entire life upside down it you know um very unexpected too you know um it might be a better kind of alternative to whatever the situation is happening at the moment so um Take it as it resonates. Let me know in the comments below, Aries, how this resonated for you. I wish love was easier, but it isn't. Unfortunately, we all know it isn't. Mm. Let me know what happened between you and your person. Did they come in? Did they wait until the holidays? How did this work out between, between you two? And did you meet this mysterious Ms. or Mr. or anyone in between? Death. How fascinating. Uh, death is also, you know, little deaths very sexual card it can be um so yeah let me know in the comments below aries please take care of yourself i will see you next time and may the angels protect you